In these examples, we're going to be talking about how to solve problems using rates, unit rates, and conversions. Before, we talked about constant speed problems. This is going to be about constant rate of work problems. A rate of work problem would be how much work we can do in any given amount of time. Work could be lots of things. It could be mowing lawns. It could be washing cars. It could be mopping floors. It could be lots of different things. These constant rate of work problems let us compare two different rates to see which, which situation is faster or slower. Who can mow lawns faster than someone else? How can we find a unit rate? Think back. That's right, we have to take one value in our ratio and divide. We're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. When we did this, it mattered which quantity was in the numerator and which quantity was in the denominator. If we want to know lawns per hour, lawns needs to be in the numerator on top and hours needs to be in the denominator on the bottom. Let's suppose on Saturday morning you can cut three lawns in five hours and your friend can cut five lawns in eight hours, comparing who is cutting lawns at a faster rate. We're comparing lawns per hour. Here, to find the unit rate, we're going to divide 3 by 5. If we do this on a calculator, we get 6 tenths. If we leave it as a fraction, it's 3 fifths. 3 fifths is the same as 6 tenths. Either way, it's lawns per hour. If your friend can cut 5 lawns in 8 hours, and we want to see if they're faster, we're going to take and divide it by 8. Your friend is cutting 5 eighths of a lawn per hour. If we write that as a decimal, that's going to be 625 thousandths. In order to find out who is faster, we need to compare 3 fifths of a lawn per hour to 5 eighths of a lawn per hour. When we compare fractions, the easiest way to do this is to convert to common denominators. We multiply both fractions by 1, but we choose the version of 1 that has the other denominator. So this is 24 fortieths, and this is 25 fortieths. Once we have the same size pieces, we can see that 24 fortieths, or 3 fifths, is smaller than 25 fortieths, or 5 eighths. The other way to compare this is with decimals. We're comparing 6 tenths to 625 thousandths. When we compare decimals, we look to see who has the bigger number in each place value. Here, in the tenths place, they're the same. In the hundredths place, 2 is bigger than 0. So 625 thousandths is bigger than 6 tenths. Let's look at another example. Suppose you own a restaurant and you want to do some advertising. So you hire two students to deliver takeout menus around town. One student, Darla, delivers 350 menus in two hours. So Darla 350 menus in two hours. Remember, our order matters. You have another student, Drew, who delivers 510 menus in three hours. So we're going to put Drew over here. 510 menus in three hours. You promise a $10 bonus to the fastest worker since time is money in the restaurant business. How can you figure out who gets the bonus? Well, we need to compare these two rates. Darla does 350 menus in two hours. If I divide to find the unit rate, that's 175 menus in one hour. If I take a look at Drew's rate and divide 510 by 3, I get 170 menus in one hour. This number was 350 divided by 2 
and this number was 510 divided by 3. Now we can compare. Who gets the $10 bonus? You can see very clearly that Darla was faster. She did more menus than Drew. In this third example, we're going to see who runs faster. A cheetah that can run 60 feet in 4 seconds, or the gazelle that he's chasing that can run 100 feet in 8 seconds. If we put the cheetah here, we're doing feet per seconds, and the cheetah can run 60 feet in 4 seconds, and the gazelle that can run 100 feet in 8 seconds, we need to find our unit rate to see who is faster. 60 divided by 4 is 15 feet in 1 second. 100 divided by 8 is 12 and a half feet in 1 second. So it looks like in this case the cheetah is going to win. He can go further in 1 second than the gazelle can go. In this last example, we're going to look at typing speeds. We're going to see who can type faster, Norma or Jean. Norma can type 225 words in 3 minutes. We need to make sure we put our units in the right place. We want to know their speed in words per minute. Because when we're talking about speed or work, time goes on the bottom. So we need to put Norma's words on the top and her time on the bottom. And our answer is going to be in one minute she can type so many words. So we said that Norma can type 225 words in three minutes. If I take 225 and divide that by 3, I get 75 words per minute. Now we're going to see if Jean is faster than Norma by checking out her rate. Norma can type 225 words in 3 minutes. Jean can type 105 words in 90 seconds. 105 words in 90 seconds. Well, wait a minute. We're not comparing the same thing. Here our speed is words per minute. Here it's words per second. But we know we can use a conversion rate to turn seconds into minutes and then we can compare. So let's first find out how many words Jean can type in one second. I'm going to take 105 and I'm going to divide it by 90 seconds. That will give me the number of words per second and that's one and about 167 thousandths of a word. Little more than one word per second. Now in order to turn this in words per minute, I need to multiply it by a conversion factor. I'm going to take 1 and 167 thousandths words in one second, and I'm going to multiply it by my conversion factor. I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. So when I multiply those together, my rate should give me words per minute. And that is going to be 70 words in one minute. And I can see that Norma is the winner here. She can type 75 words in one minute and Jean can type 70 words in one minute.